Hey everybody, you know another aspect of what we do is we obviously help each other out and today we've got a big corporate outing and I actually it's Lonnie's group and Lonnie we got nine boats out today. How's it going man? Yeah, we got nine boats out. Uh, we got four boats up in Door County doing bass, five on walleye today and uh, it's great to have you as a partner and helping out. We got a lot of other really good Green Bay guides. Really, It's neat to team up and what I really like is guys coming together, working together, dissecting and beating up some water to get, get guys on fish. Really. That's the point I like is guys working together. We're gonna go shivering and uh, we're gonna go beat some water up. Everyone's kind of got their spots. We got Derek and Ron behind us and we got you and me and then uh, uh, Chris Barsh is gonna be here in a little bit. Really excited to get out and see what we can do today for our customers. A good deal. Let's get her done. Sink a battleship. Where did you, you, you guys have, have bananas? Where did they come from? You're not supposed to have bananas on here. Where did the bananas come from? You can use all your live scopes and, and mega lies, but the side imaging for this kind of conditions is the, the number one tool for sure. Because I can see out, you know, 100 feet. I got mine set at 65 right now, and I'm just hunting. There's nothing here but sand, a little bit of weeds, so these fish cannot hide. Want a cookie? I'm done. You guys want a cookie? Yes, thanks, Larry. You said, I know that fool doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, most of the time you're right, but not this time. And you guys thought because I had, I said I had the bow in the wrong direction, I was just <laughs> bullshit. Right? The old shiva man just crunched it, munched it. That's about a 20 incher, I would say. Since he's mine, if he was yours, he'd be 15. Love this bait, man. This bait catches fish. That just absolutely slammed up. Talk about T-bone in a bait right there. That's a pretty sight. Gotta love it. Nice job. Boy, he just crunched that, too. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Ooh, they fight. But, I mean, that's Green Bay for you. That's when you're talking about quality eating fish, you know, fish that's in that 20, 21 range. Nice job, that's two for you. Bite them out a little bit, he's still green. You know, when you're still marking fish and you gotta kinda look at the conditions, we got a lot of boats around us. It calmed down, the water's clearing out by the, by the minute really here. So changing the profile of the bait really makes a big difference. You got another, that's, yeah, that spoon really is lighting up. See how it is, it's always adapting to what your customer, to what they're doing, you know. If it's not, you try the rod. If it's not the rod, you try the different baits. If it's not the bait, then you just push the customer overboard. <laughs> but these are good guys, so. <laughs> how many years have you guys been doing this outing? How, and how did, how did all this start? Oh, it's been going on for a while, over 35 years. Started out with just a small group of guys from, uh, from the neighborhood. And then it kind of expanded to the, their friends and co-workers, and now we are more than double that. Holy cats. Yeah. I mean, and we're, you guys, I was listening the last two days, like you guys have been all over the world yeah. fishing, basically. It's not just staying, you, most of you guys are from Minnesota too, obviously. Yep, we are, but um, yeah, there's been two trips to the Amazon, uh, you know, of course, several trips up to Canada, uh, Brazil, uh, Costa Rica, so, uh, yeah, you guys all, get around all over. Where was your favorite place so far? I've only been on four of them, so I've been to two Canadian ones and one to uh, Detroit. We actually fished. Oh, the Detroit River. Huh? Yeah, I was fishing the oh, Detroit oh, River. Oh, oh. That's a good fishery, though. How was the Amazon for the peacocks? I, that's the trip I'd like to do. Yeah. The fishermen were served peacock bass, and the guys all ate piranhas. <laughs> like a bluegill, I suppose, huh? And the guys on the trip figured out after a while that there was a logic to that because the piranhas tasted way better than the peacock bass so they all switched to piranha. <laughs> Sandra? I'm good, thank okay, you. Okay, anybody else? I'm on, a, I'm on a diet. We all are. Cost of a free boat. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice one. Nice fish right there. Nice fish. Look at how I just absolutely crunched that. You know, 
Again, kind of changing that technique. I know the fish are here. I know that there's walleyes all over there. No if, ands, buts about it. I see them on the locator. I can read what kind of fish they are. Them days are all done, right? You know, I mean, it's just the guesswork is done. You just need to have confidence in your locator. You're not gonna just be running around all over. You're gonna change your cadence. You're gonna change the colors. You're gonna keep adapting till you get some of these fish to bite. But the deal is now, I know we gotta work a little bit harder and I gotta dial things in a little bit tighter. We're not gonna get them every five, six casts. It might be every 10, 12 casts. But again, as long as we're catching fish, I'm content. As long as I'm seeing them, I'm gonna keep changing everything I can do to try to get these fish to go. Another nice fish. You got the hot hand going, but I know what you're doing up there. You're popping it a lot harder. This is when I'm snapping it, it's all in my wrist right here. You see how I'm not really lifting my arms hardly at all. It's all right in here. Everything's right in here. And that's the key to it right there. And if you're not used to doing it all the time like this, you know, it doesn't take long and your arms can get really sore from doing this. So it's like anything else. It's nice to have a little break once in a while, run back up and look for another pot of fish. His pause is a little longer too than both of ours. You got that bait going. Mmm. <laughs> what you looking at? Ooh. Look, come on, let's get, come on, young man. Oh, si silver, mine's silver, hopefully. The lost years, what'd you guys get on that side? When it rains, it pours. Yours ain't silver, yours is walleye-ish. Nice, nice job, yep. Now we're gonna spot lock you guys because they are thicker than these down there. Hey guys, Lon with Green Bay Trophy Fishing. So we're out on, on a guide trip today. Uh, we're partnering with Larry Smith Outdoors to do a big group outing, but here's what we're looking for, guys. We're drifting through with spoons, gold spoons, ripping wraps, uh, shiver minnows. It's all been good good to us, and uh, we're looking for pods of fish right here. Here's a, a nice pod of fish that we're looking at, and we're just drifting through uh, the pods of fish, and then I, I like to switch over to my Mega Live. You can actually see the fish right out in front of you. I, I work a transducer here. I like to set set my settings that, um, you know, you try to clear them out uh, to where you can see fish right on the bottom here swimming. I don't know if you guys can see them, but there's some fish swimming down here. Here's some, some suspended fish right here, guys. Right here, let me turn my transducer. We can see them, there they are. You guys see these fish right here? So there's suspended walleyes and there's shallow walleyes. Fish on right here, hooked up. So, I mean, it can't get any more textbook than that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we were working through fish and he got hooked up. That's not an act. Beautiful walleye. Yeah, guys, we're just using our electronics today and maybe we'll uh, talk a little bit more about this in a minute, but we're basically going through pods of fish. We're locating them on our site imaging and then we're also using the uh, Mega Live to see them. And I got the boys casting right towards those fish. So as you can see, it's a really effective technique and it's been working really well for us. So I'll tell you what, you know, we basically got our limits of walleyes. Now we're gonna, we've got some time left, about an hour and a half. We're gonna do some perch fishing now. Lance just gave us a call absolutely just whacking them in some giants so you know who wants to pass up on some green bay giant perch so we're gonna go uh, spot lock pretty close to him and hopefully uh, get into him you know that's the cool part too about green bay right now too you know the perch population has really come back pretty strong and thanks to our good friend lance just gave us a call we were over fishing by lonnie before and lance gave us a call said hey you want to catch a bunch of perch they've already got their limits of walleyes and they've got another perch right there perch on Perfect eating size right there. I mean, if you're gonna think about eating perch, it's probably one of my favorites. Them eight to nine, 10 inches are perfect. These are about 10, 10 and a half. Uh, perfect eating size. Hey, I'll tell you what, when you talk about giant perch, look at the size of that one right there. <laughs> yeah, if it's a perch, it's gonna be a dandy. Oh yeah, it's a perch. <laughs> Them are some giant perch. Not quite as big as the last one, still, that is a tank of a perch, loving that. Look at the size. Whew. Oh, them are all like just giant perch. These are absolutely tanks, you know. Look at that. 
Ho 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 the key is definitely the, the lift and how slow you're lifting. If you're lifting it too fast, they're not aggressive, aggressive enough to follow it and to hit it. And like, and I mean by that is like, my lifts are about six inches at a time, four to six inches, let it drop, let it drop. But I'm not stopping it hardly at all. If I do stall it, it's for maybe, maybe about two seconds. But that's a perch. That is a perch. Look at that torque on your rock. That makes it so lovely. Oh, look at this one. Oh, oh, I thought the last one was big. Holy mother mercy. I might get this one mounted. Holy shamoly. <laughs> that is definitely 15 incher for sure. That is the biggest perch that I have caught in years. Man, oh man, look at the coloring. How many bars? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars on that one. Holy man. I just, I'm just in awe. Look at the beautiful colors on that too. The oranges on the, on the lower fins, you know, the tail. I mean, it's just, that is definitely a picture perfect fish right there. I am just, look at the size of that perch. That is absolutely crazy, crazy. I'll tell you what, what another awesome guide trip this week. You know, it's pretty cool because these guys were actually part of a huge group. And so this is a three day outing and I actually got to fish all three days with different guys. You know, that's the cool part I love about guiding. You know, meeting new people and listening to their experiences in the places that they love to go, you know, and, and their hobbies. You know, like one of the guys was a big golfer, the other guy, love to go to operas and the fishing is what it's all about enjoying life and enjoying the outdoors remember no doubt it is a great day to be alive and we'll see you guys again next week